Early detection and rapid response, or EDRR, is a philosophy that is crucial to the management of noxious weeds, but it is also a concept that is widely used by many fields, including invasive species, healthcare, homeland security, and even by NASA while tracking asteroids and other near space objects. Francesco Guisardini was an Italian historian and statesman. A friend and critic of Machiavelli, he is considered one of the major political writers of the Italian Renaissance. Perhaps he was also one of the first people to recognize an important principle in the EDRR models. Small beginnings hardly worthy of notice are often the cause of great misfortune. Well, let's look closer at that thought. Here we have a picture of something very, very small. The spore that was responsible for what many historians refer to as the Irish potato famine, responsible for over one million deaths in Europe and the cause of mass migrations. Even smaller than that, we have this little fellow, the virus H1N1, which has been responsible for multiple pandemics leading to the deaths of at least 50 million people worldwide since 1918. Now this purple flower is spotted knapweed. We don't measure it in microns. It's typically two to four feet in height. Nonetheless, it fits well into the discussion of small beginnings. In 1925, spotted knapweed was introduced to Ravalli County, Montana, possibly through contaminated grain. After 80 plus years, we can see the great misfortune spotted knapweed has caused to the northwestern United States. You know, it's really difficult to quantify everything that's been lost to just this plant. You can take a second and read through a selection of the negative impacts. But the point of this exercise is to get your mind thinking. What if we caught spotted knapweed while it was just a couple of plants in one county? What if we stopped this invader early before it negatively impacted 7 million acres in the United States? EDRR makes sense not only because it takes less effort to control small infestations before they become big problems but also, while infestations are small, eradication is feasible. Additionally, if control utilizing herbicides is required, there is a lot less applied to control a couple of plants as opposed to a couple of acres. The following chart compares the area infested by a potential invasive weed over time. Where the large circle is at is the crucial point for detection in EDRR programs. Unfortunately, if you follow the dotted line, awareness typically doesn't start to happen until infestations are widespread and the public begins to become aware of the problem. EDRR requires a shift in our mentality. We can't wait for weeds to become a problem when they are both difficult and costly to manage. It'd be terrible to see the next spotted knapweed get its start in Wyoming. To stay ahead of new invaders, the Wyoming Weed and Pest Council started an EDRR committee with other partners, focused on promoting EDRR philosophies and management. The committee has many projects and takes their role quite seriously. There is a strong need for knowledgeable people in the field who are willing to communicate their observations about potential plant invasions to weed and pest districts or other concerned land management organizations. Please check out the following early detection rapid response resources. The Wyoming Weed and Pest Council's website at wyoweed.org. The EDMAPS database, a tool for mapping, reporting, and learning about invasive species. They have both a website and apps through your app store. As well as the University of Wyoming Cooperative Ag Pest Survey Program. They issue weed alerts. A big thank you goes out to the Wyoming Weed and Pest Council, their Education Committee, as well as their Early Detection Rapid Response Committee, Teton County Weed and Pest District. Photo credits go to Amy Colette, as well as the Wikipedia Common Use Agreement. Thanks.